I would now like to invite our principal, Evan Bishop, back to the podium. Thank you, Ms. Murray. First off, I'd like to take a minute to offer my sincere congratulations to the fine young men and women seated to my left and to my right tonight as we celebrate the collective achievement of the class of 2015, but also the individual accomplishments of each and every one of you. This past week, I have witnessed your excitement and anticipation as we neared graduation night. And now that we are here, perhaps it is sinking in that you have overcome many challenges to reach this milestone and I can see the pride in your faces. I hope you know that that pride is well earned and well deserved. Your families, friends, and teachers in attendance tonight are all very, very proud of you. And I know it's not always been an easy road for all of you. There have been obstacles, roadblocks, biology projects, but you have made it. And judging from the conversations I've had with many parents in the room, it sounds like the last six months or so have not been that easy on you either. If I had a dollar for every time I heard, can we please just get them to graduation? To which I would respond, just hang in there. Or, I'm exhausted, I don't know how you do it every day. Which I joke, well, we don't have to live with them. <laughs> or my favorite, something I heard more than once over the last few weeks, before this year, I had more hair. <laughs> to which I joke, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> H cam, go easy on me, please. I don't know what the look is back here. Parents, I want to take a minute to congratulate you as well. Whether they say it or not, I know the graduates appreciate your hard work, your support, and all the sacrifices you made to bring them up in a community that has offered them so many advantages. Please take time to celebrate, to reflect on all that you have done for your child, and then get ready to kick them out of the house in a few months. <laughs> Although I must warn you, enforcing those house rules when the kids come back for Thanksgiving the first time should be a lot of fun. Let me know how that goes. In all seriousness, the class of 2015 has without a doubt left its mark here on HHS. Collectively, this group possesses a wide range of impressive talents and strengths, not the least of which is your remarkable ability to be tolerant and accepting. In the past four years, I have seen you lift each other up, come together in difficult times, and grow into insightful, thoughtful young men and women. You possess a sense of wisdom and understanding that often eludes adults twice your age. I urge you to hold fast to those values of solidarity, cooperation, and camaraderie. Now, it's truly an honor tonight to see you united as ever, one last time as classmates, friends, and as I'll always think of you as Hillers. Now, not having the opportunity to grow up in this community, when I started working as a guidance counselor 10 years ago, I was very confused, as are most people, about this Hiller nickname. I'm sure almost everyone in this room has had to explain to someone, at some point or another, what a hiller is. Now our nickname comes about as Hopkinton sits 450 feet above sea level and is the highest town in the Middlesex County. However, I'm not sure all of us have responded to that question with that response. Regardless of your definition, like Eric's as being tough as hills, what I have come to appreciate in working in this town is that being a hiller comes with great pride for these students, whether it's in the classroom, on the stage or on the many athletic fields. When I think of what represents a Hiller, it's so much more than our mascot. To me, a Hiller embodies many things. For example, a Hiller is honest. As wily as teenagers can be, I give you guys a lot of credits. Your class is very honest. If given the chance, how many high school students would actually alert their principal to the senior skip day in advance so they could get their work? or notify many teachers about what the senior prank was gonna be days before just to make sure it was appropriate. Please continue to be honest. It's far too easy these days to bend the truth. Candor is rare and a worthy quality. A Hiller is inclusive. This class knows the importance, the significance, and the value of making everyone included and part of something special. At barely 18 years old, you already know it's far more important to embrace change, not resist it, and celebrate our differences rather than just relying on tradition or continuing to do something in a certain way just because that's always the way it's been done. Hillers are leaders. This group has more individuals with exceptional leadership skills and ability than any I've ever encountered. They are great communicators, as you've seen from the speeches tonight and Wednesday night. They are respectful, they are proactive, and the list goes on and on. I've been continually impressed by the terrific four-year class officers, the excellent student council leadership, the multi-sport captains, those students attending Ivy League schools, the Air Force, the Marines, those involved with Best Buddies, 
those who travel to India to work with children in need, and I mean we even have someone in this class who did their own TED Talk. This class has really set the bar high for classes to come and what it means to be a leader here. A Hiller laughs a lot. I know some say that you've just completed the easiest part of your life, but I don't agree with that statement. Those people obviously haven't been in the current high school environment with the pressures of social media, standardized tests, and the overwhelming college application process that is far more competitive and all-consuming than it ever used to be. But this group has always kept things in perspective remarkably well and made it through this stressful time in large part because they know the importance of finding humor in life and that it's okay to not always take ourselves so serious, even in the most serious of situations. To me, this class has always been upbeat, had fun, made the most of it during challenging times, like Ashley said when the prom venue burned down weeks before, or when we had to reschedule our boat cruise within 24 hours, which was awesome. <laughs> when rain canceled our underground railroad at Nature's Classroom, or the record-breaking heat that you endured in D.C. in eighth grade, I believe it was 112 degrees. This group has always gone with the flow, and more than any that I have ever worked with, has kept a smile on their face, but they also know how to buckle down, get serious, and get focused. This balanced perspective and approach will serve you well as life continues to get more stressful and difficult. A Hiller has empathy. As I mentioned before, I know personally that there are many members of this class that have faced challenges to get here. Whether it's a serious health issue, losing a loved one, maybe a parent losing your job, or perhaps your challenges date back to grade school, struggling with speech delays, much like I did, which is the first hurdle in keeping pace with your peers. In most cases, you know little amongst these things about your peers, but in some cases, you did. Either way, it did not matter to you. You consistently treated each other with respect and kindness for the past 13 years. Please know that there is something really rewarding about looking on the people around you with compassion and empathy, especially those that are struggling, because like many of you, they could use a little latitude as they may be facing some untold challenges as well. A Hiller is resourceful. This group consistently finds ways to make things work. They, they solve solutions to problems, whether it's navigating around the school's firewall to watch movies that they probably shouldn't be watching, <laughs> finding new and creative excuses to tell our assistant principals about why they were late this time to school, and when a neighboring community canceled what seemed to be a funny and harmless prank, they decided to steal my keys and drive down to the football field with my car. <laughs> this class knows how to use what they have to their advantage, which in all seriousness is a very critical skill. Now to me, these traits are probably more important than anything that you have learned in our curriculum over the past 13 years. I implore you and I challenge you to carry them with you. In your lives beyond Hopkinton, please continue to be honest and inclusive. Don't be afraid to be a leader. Find ways to laugh a lot. Show empathy to others and trust that you possess the resources to prevail past any challenges that life throws at you. Regardless of what you do in life or where you go, always remember to be a Hiller and hopefully the rest will take care of itself. Class of 2015, it has been my absolute pleasure to be your principal and I wish you all the best in the future. Thank you.